so on this one, uh, I already made a video kind of similar to this, but as I have gotten deeper into this topic, I, I think I have a lot more to say on it now than I did originally. So on this one, we're talking about why, um, for those of us that are Windows users, just switch to Linux. Why don't you just switch to Linux? Why can't you just use Linux? Linux will fix all your problems. I'm serious. Um, I We got to make a video on this. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to address with this is software. Now, <clears throat> the thing with the software is that, so first, first you're talking about a completely different OS. Um, yes, I understand there are some variants of Linux that have been uh, somewhat visually tuned to appeal to those of us that are longtime Windows users, and perhaps those are a good place to start. Um, but it is a different OS. Things don't work the way they do on Windows. Like, don't, I swear, if I get, a, I, I'm going to get comments, oh, it's exactly the same. No, it's not exactly the same. Uh, seriously, the gaslighting is unbelievable. It really is. Uh, I mean, look, I used Mac OS for a little while. I was able to figure it out, but yeah, it's going to take at least several days. If you really put some effort into it and you're technically savvy, it's going to take several days. Like, don't try to tell me it's not. It is. Okay, so that's, that's just the OS, though. <clears throat> the OS is just, is just the OS. That's, that's, that's simple stuff. That's figuring out, you know, where do I go to, uh, I don't know, change my desktop background, you know? What do I do to, uh, you know, I don't know. Where do I, where do I go to download a web browser? You know, this, that stuff. I already know how to do all that on Windows. I'm going to have to figure that out. And and for every single one of those things, every single thing I do, I'm going to have to get my phone out. And I'm going to have to push it, put into my phone. How do I change my desktop background? Now, you can tell me, oh, you're being lazy. You're just, you're stupid. That's blah, 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 blah. Each one of those things is going to add up on time. And, I, I you know, I... I work 50, 55 hours a week, plus, I make, plus I'm trying to run this YouTube channel. I don't necessarily want to dump all my time into that. <clears throat> so the next uh, thing to talk about is, in my case, I'm using Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Premiere. I have tried the alternative. The main alternative that I'd be looking at would probably be DaVinci Resolve, I think. Not interested in using DaVinci Resolve. I've already tried DaVinci Resolve. As somebody who who all of my experience and my training is in Adobe Premiere, it's not the same. I I tried the all, the way that the OS is set up just doesn't make sense to me. Okay, I'm not the OS, the uh, the software. The way that Resolve is set up, the way that the things function, it doesn't make sense to me. If it makes sense to you, that's great. You're a DaVinci Resolve guy. That's your thing. I'm an Adobe guy. All of my experience and training is on Adobe. I have basically 20 years on Adobe. I'm not interested in starting from scratch because somebody on YouTube told me that, oh, you should switch to, 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 uh, to Linux. Oh, that'll solve all your problems. Same thing with Adobe Photoshop. I, I get it. There's, there's GIMP or there's whatever. I'm not interested in taking the time. If it was one piece of software, it would be a different case. Uh, same thing with Microsoft Office. Yeah, I've been using Office all these years. Probably a word, probably a word editor would be a lot simpler than Photoshop. But by the time I figure out how to use a word editor, Excel, maybe some presentations on whatever is equivalent for PowerPoint, you're talking about a massive time sink. Okay, you're not talking a quick, a, you know, a quick Saturday afternoon one and done. Okay, you're talking about me having to learn. Every piece of software new, some easier than others. Okay, so that's that's not the end of software. What about my games? I mean, this is Dragon Systems, guys. This is a gaming channel, okay? Linux is not a gaming OS. Yes, I get that there's compatibility layers, there's whatever you call it, wine. Some of the some of the games are easier than others, I've been told, to configure, but I'm not really interested in turning my gaming experience into an experiment every time I go to load a game. You know, sometimes having it sometimes work, sometimes it's gonna take me hours of troubleshooting, sometimes it might be one quick five minute thing. Like I'm not interested in that. Come on. Um so that I mean that's a lot. You're talking about a lot of time consumption. And it's time that not everybody has. Like if you have that time to tinker and figure it out, 
that's great. The situation that we are in right now, and and it's and I'm going to say here and now, the discussion as to because that's that's where we are is that these videos that I've made about the complaints about Windows, that discussion has been co-opted by the Linux people that come on here and turn it into a discussion of why aren't you switching to Linux? They aren't the same discussion. They really are not. Just because I am annoyed at what Microsoft is doing on the direction of Windows, an operating system that I fundamentally like, does not mean that that is the same discussion in the same sentence of you should switch to Linux. They're not the same discussion. They are two different discussions. And and at the end of the day, um, we aren't at the point where M Windows and Microsoft are inconveniencing me, and I'm going to say a lot of other people, more than, than the inconvenience would be to switch to Linux. We're not there yet. Maybe we will be. Maybe it'll turn out the Linux people are totally right, and Microsoft is going to go so far down the chute that... <sighs> I would have been better off six months ago to switch to Linux and start learning. Maybe it'll end up you're right, but we're not there. And and the reality of the situation that we're in right now, unfortunately, is somewhat of a wait and see situation. Maybe it will get to the point where people such as myself are forced to switch over. Maybe it will not. You don't know. They're just there's no way to know for sure for certain what their long term plans are. Um, so I hope this, you know, this isn't going to be the only one I make on this matter, um, but I hope this gives some of the Linux people, which I am telling you, you guys are incredibly unself-aware, okay? It's, it's like, like every video I make about being annoyed at Microsoft gets co-opted by Linux people. You should switch to Linux. Use Linux. Linux would solve that problem. You, 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 you wouldn't have any of these. Oh, come on. The, level, the lack of self-awareness to the amount of time necessary to, to do a complete switchover for someone like me that's that uses some fairly in-depth stuff. I didn't even talk about my capture cards. Now I got someone telling me, well, you should have a separate machine just for that. Like, come on, I'm not switching until I can switch completely. So anyway, sorry, sorry, this is kind of all over the place. There's so many different things to be talked about on this that keep coming up that, you know, it is what it is. But, um... In any case, I hope this gives some of you Linux guys kind of an idea why I don't just switch to Linux. So anyway, thanks for watching the video.